Come on, let's get our gear on. Hey, magic happens here at the MC Rider Garage. Come on, let's go. Hey, my name's Kevin and I release a weekly video here on MC Rider focused on road skills or road strategy to help you become a better rider. Become a member of MC Rider and get access to even more tools to help you stay sharp and develop your skills on two wheels. Lane position is huge riding motorcycle. Here's an example of a rider giving up his lane position. Notice that he's riding directly in the center of the lane, which gives him the least amount of visibility to what's happening up the road. And he's riding at about a half a second following distance between his motorcycle and the car in front of him. With that type of following distance, any mistake that the driver makes in front of him will have a direct impact on him. He's essentially placed his safety in the hands of, the, of a stranger in the car in front of him. In addition to that, it requires much more attention from the rider because the margin of error is so low and the time to react is so small if something happens in front of him. Good following distance buys us time and space. It often keeps the mistakes of others from having a direct impact on us. Because I have a good following distance here, I'm able to keep a closer eye on what's happening behind me with frequent mirror checks. A good rule of thumb is to check your mirrors every time you slow down. Whether that's braking or rolling off the throttle, give a quick glance to the mirrors. Good road strategy will also have a rider looking for potential traps on the road. Things like getting stuck behind slow moving traffic, riding near or around large trucks, getting in and out of blind spots and other things that can easily place us in the blind spots of traffic around us. So having a good road strategy doesn't mean that we're the slowest vehicle on the road. A rider with good road strategy is always looking for potential threats and they're progressing up the road to avoid potential road traps. If that means a lane change to pass a slower vehicle or potential traps like a large truck, a rider with good road strategy will make that happen. They control their own safety on the road to the best degree that they can by being proactive on the street. Another good strategy to employ is being able to stop in the distance you can see up the road. So if you're approaching a corner like this one with an obstructed view, roll off the throttle a little or even downshift if you need to so that you're prepared for that unexpected obstacle in the road that could be around the corner. Then when the view opens up, you can roll back on the throttle. So here's a situation where road strategy and lane position really paid off. This is a two-lane road, double yellow lines the entire way, which means no passing. Remember, no passing in reality is only a suggestion. It won't actually keep cars from passing. It's up to you to protect yourself from the bad drivers. The wide angle lens of the camera really didn't show what the problem was here. So this truck was a whole lot closer than it appears. And from the time that the truck got back into its lane and getting even with me, it was actually 1.13 seconds. And that's with me slowing down considerably when I saw the truck in my lane. So that bought me some time and space as well. What really helped here was my lane position. Notice prior to the corner, I was set up on the outside of the lane so that I could see further up the road. This offered me the best chance to see through that corner and when I saw the truck passing I moved far to the outside of my lane and I slowed down. 
you know, road strategy and looking up the road will make a huge difference between having a moderately close call like this was and a true emergency on your hands. I've got a lot of other videos focused on road strategy and more in this ride-along series, so I encourage you to go over and watch some of those videos as well. Till next week, guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road.